Good day and welcome to GA Extra lesson. So today I'm going to treat um, doing the what dimension on physics. This is what dimension. So just try to treat treat this. So in the in physics, what is dimension? Dimension is just what just a term we use to what. It means uh, dimension shows the what shows the, uh, the 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 relationship between the fundamental quantities and what and the derived quantities, and through this dimension we can use uh, the method of dimension. We also use it to understand some of the what some of the units of the, the of the what of the quantities in physics. So here there are some standard uh, some standard dimension which are fundamental quantities so i'll go by this the first one here i have what mass the first one here is what the first one here is mass so this mass is what the dimension for it is just m you just like what like the unit here so just m so and like the symbol here sorry symbol so why the unit of it is what is kilogram the si unit of it is what is kilogram it can be gram but the si unit of it usually what usually use kilogram so in the area too we have area so the dimension for area is what l square that is length or square and the unit is what meter square so time in dimension we use what t anything t capital t like this means what time so why the seconds of time is what is uh, the unit of time is what seconds and we have what displacement and what and uh, distance here displacement and uh, distance are uh, different quantities displacement is what vector y distance is what is a uh, scalar quantities but the reason why i combine them, them here is that they have the same what they are the same symbol for what for dimension when we are treating about dimension they have the same symbol here so that's why I used I place them together here. So here we have electric current. Electric current is what the symbol. Uh, the dimension is a. We use a for it to represent the dimension, and the unit is what ampere, which is also a. We use a as the ampere to here, small a like this. So we have um, the what the, the temperature. The temperature. The temperature. The temperature is what the unit is what Kelvin. And the dimension, the notation for the dimension is also what Kelvin. So here I'm going to treat some dimension and how to get uh, the dimension and some of the units, some of the dim and the dimension of some uh, of the quantity. So here I'm having with me that is uh, how to find the one, how to find the dimension of some quantities of some what of some quantity quantities sorry here yeah? of some quantities. So here I will start by what by what to find the dimension of what of uh, velocity. Well, I'm going to find the dimension of velocity, so which is what which is uh, my number one here. So I have one number one as what well, as velocity or what velocity um velocity hours and uh, and speed. The dimension are the same but they are of different time this one is vector quantity while this one is scalar quantity but this one shows what shows the direction and the one and the magnitude but this one will just show us the tell us the magnitude of the distance covered so but their dimension is of the same so i'll start by what velocity here and the velocity velocity according to formula of velocity dimension is from the formula velocity is what velocity is a uh, displacement the displacement over what over time so displacement over time since we've known that uh, displacement is what we represent it with what with l and we represent time into with t so just bring it we have what l over what over t so which is the same thing as uh which is the same thing as uh, l multiplied by what over one over t so use uh your law of indices in mathematics and convert this one to what L T raised to the power of what minus one, which is uh, the same thing as one over 
t so that's why we have the dimension as l t raised to the power of minus one and the unit you can the unit is what this is what l which is what which is meter which is meter that is distance there it is the displacement that is in form of distance that is m that is meter per what per seconds so this is time which is what the unit is what t then per second so that's why we have the unit of velocity like this and that of uh, speed also is for this like this that's why we have we usually have what you find out that when the when the speed is, re is represent the unit is like kilogram per second uh, per hour meter per second so that's what this is the dimension for velocity so the next one here is what the next one i'm having here with me is a uh, acceler linear acceleration of a linear acceleration linear word acceleration linear acceleration is just what is a velocity 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 word velocity over what over time taken so the same thing velocity over time taken since we know that of velocity what is the dimension of velocity if you follow, if you follow this step you will find the dimension of velocity just bring the dimension of velocity which is l t raised to the power of minus one then all over the t here again so now then for the law of indices here again or you, you have what l since they are division so t again raised to the power of one the same base that is minus one minus what since we have a division here so that is l t to the power of minus one is divided by t again so since we are having base here the same base here just minus one minus one which is the same thing as l t raised to the power of minus two so the unit inside the that's the dimension so the unit is what m length then what meter per second what per second square so that's why we have the unit of acceleration like this sometimes sometimes it may be written like this may be written like this too sometimes the pi will be one of our come here still the same with this so i have my third one as a uh, third one the third one i have force force yeah so force is one is a uh, m mass multiplied by what multiplied by the whole acceleration due to gravity here uh, so acceleration so since we have the acceleration as like this just bring your m that is m then multiply by the what by this by that of what acceleration if you didn't know it before we are asked to find it just try to find just one since you know the dimension of uh, acceleration just multiply it with m which is l t raised to the power of minus 2 and you find answer of what m l t raised to the power of minus 2 so that is dimension for force and you can they can rewrite the general unit for force is always what new thing so we can have that is the SU, uh, si unit for force is newton so they can rewrite the for the unit as a kilogram that is mass then meter then my what my time that is a uh, meter per second square still you need for what still you need for force so i have my third one there uh, my fourth one sorry fourth one as well as power power is what is uh, work done work done over what over time taken so work done the formula for what's done is what force multiplied by what multiplied by distance over what over time taken so the force you know the dimension of force which is m multiplied by what multiplied by acceleration and the, that is a dimension for acceleration which is what l let, let me write it step by step this is force m a so multiplied by s all over t so now you do what you find the dimension of this this acceleration so we have m l t is to power of minus two so multiply by what multiply by this the dimension for s is what is f what is distance to i've said it here distance i'll tell you here that is we are dealing with distance we have f so s is distance there of f then o over t then this one you can rewrite it as a you can write it as a m l t this is t this is t that is minus two 
this is uh, t multiplied by t here we go we got t square so we have uh, l square l multiplied by l here we got l square then t here we got minus 2 minus 1 that is with t is raised to the power of minus 1 here uh, it's raised to the power of 1 here so I found the law of indices division here then minus 1 then it will be what it will be final it will be what l then l square t raised to the power of what minus 3 so that is the dimension for what for power and the unit for power is always what what usually use what we usually use a uh, what so some they may try to convince you and try to convince you especially for you people doing taking jump and we try to bring this to convince you that the, the, the unit of this just try to know your dimension you can write it as this and your what and your time to power of what minus three so it's the same thing as what unit of what what this is just the general term used for what for what and that of newton too so take note of this so we have another i'm having with me here another one which is uh which is a uh, pressure we call it prayer prayer five that's number five i have prayer here with me again prayer prayer is what is force over what force over what over area so force over what over area so the dimension for force is what i say the formula is what m a that is it then over what over area again over what over area so which is the same thing as the dimension for force is here say m multiplied by acceleration with l t is to power of minus two then so this is a m a over what over area then my m then they as the dimension for acceleration then over what over the dimension for what area which is l square don't forget I said earlier then dimension for acceleration is what l square so then you now try to use the law of uh, indices here then you have your m then your what? l minus l1 minus here that is l is power of one minus two here that is l pointing to the law of indices that is what one minus what two and t is the power of minus two so now try to what try to simplify this this is m then l is the power of what minus one then t is the power of what of uh, minus what minus two so that's the dimension for this you check it very well this is m a then this is m and the dimension of isolation then this one is l dimension for head length for area sorry then is it then you take this one point to now this is that is a uh, when you are having l to the power of one what of one divided by l is the power of what two same thing as l is the power of one minus two so that's why i get l is for plus one here yeah. so that's what i did here so that's how these two so i'm gonna come down then that's my final answer for what for i said for what for pressure for what for pressure so like my the unit for pressure is always what we have a that of our uh, pascal we have a uh, pascal uh, atm sorry of atm atmospheric pressure units for pressure so and we have a uh, millimeter mercury for pressure again so when here again it can be what kilometer then then or two so we can use this to convince you but this is this this is the unit we usually use for what for pressure so thank you for watching try to follow the step and this is all this is our dimension for and uh, dimension and that is uh just a uh, body it is a uh, part one for dimension then there will be part two on dimension which i would try to do with those one that include the particular process that you need to find x uh, when you are given a statement and it's linking one to more function or two or more quantities are linked together so if not the meaning of dimensional just what just shows the relationship between what between the fundamental quantity quantities and derived quantities and it's used it helps us to understand some of the units again so subscribe it costs you nothing to subscribe than to just subscribe and see some of our updates and review so try to follow our step by step comment if there is any problem in any part of the mass and pieces tutorial question on the what on the channel so have a nice day
God bless you. Thank you.